Hi, I will show you the main features for our rig. The most of controls are self-explanatory. Uh, I will show you the most uh, customized ones. Uh, the rig is uh, joint based, uh, even the face. There is no blend shapes uh, on the character or even uh, correct blend shapes. There is uh, just a skin cluster. And uh, the joint is a uh, single hierarchy chain. So you can export it to any game engine. Let's start with the face and uh, discover the most customized uh, controls in the face. There is two level of controls, uh, the macro controls, uh, which are these ones. Uh, actually, you can create any kind of uh, expression with uh, just these controls. Uh, but also you have uh, another level of control, which is microcontrols. These microcontrols can be manipulated to, to make any kind of uh, custom shape or uh, if you have uh, a storyboard or guideline uh, need uh, the, the expression to be uh, with very customized shape, you can use it. If you want to be very specific, you can open these microcontrols from the layers here. And uh, it's also uh, NURBS surfaces, so you can open and uh, close this from show menu. And I have created for you a small script uh, to can easily control uh, these controls, the micro ones and the uh, macro ones. You can select all the left macro and right ones. Select left micro, all the macro, all the micro, and you can reset each one of those uh, individually. Uh, and you can reset all if you want. And also, there is a mirror function here. You can mirror any uh, macro or micro controls uh, with this uh, function here. And uh, there is a small trip, uh, tip in uh, side this function. Uh, if you press uh, shift while you are mirroring from right to left or, or vice versa, you, you select the other side. So you can easily uh, create the asymmetry for the bows. The eye has uh, some controls. Uh, the eye by default is uh, fleshy. If you move the eye target, the eyelid will move with it. And you can control uh, how flesh it is with uh, this controller here. Okay, and it will not snap, it will move to the original position. And there is uh, another, uh, some attributes here to, to change the uh, shape of the eye. You can make any uh, custom face here and there is a a plink attribute here uh, the plink will uh, rotate the, the joints so please if you want to, to plink the character uh, use this attribute uh, don't just use uh, this and move it down because it will translate the, the joints not rotating them okay And also there is a great uh, attribute here called sliding. Uh, this sliding attribute will stick the, the joints uh, on the uh, lid itself, okay? So you will not worry uh, about any penetrating or floating for the eyelid uh, around the, the, the lens itself. It will just stick in there even if you move it uh, far from the eye itself. Okay, and all the attributes can be mirrored to uh, the other side. Okay. Uh, and the face uh, has been uh, split into upper face and lower face. give you the full control to make any kind of uh, expression you want.
<laughs> and then well, we can jump into the, the body. Okay. Uh, there is a selector here for the body. Okay. We can select all the, the, the controls and reset them. Uh, you have uh, FK and IK. And you can uh, very easily uh, blend between those or uh, you can uh, snap uh, any one to another to, to the other one uh, like if you if you want to snap the fk to ik or vice versa if you want to uh, switch uh, snap the ik to the fk okay it will snap it without any uh, jumping or anything like this uh, you have the, the stretchy uh, arm you can stretch it uh, as much as you want and you have here uh, two controls for uh, cartooning uh, styles uh, like this uh, curve control you can make the, the arm very flexible like this and also uh, you can mirror everything here even uh, this uh, complex uh, controls to the other side uh, or if you want you can uh, flip the balls from here okay and uh, also the, the leg has uh, the same attributes okay and it has the stretchy function here and if you want you can select all of the controls and reset them reset the extra ones and also uh, there is a small uh, tip here inside the IK uh, if you want to make any uh, bows like uh, this one And inside the, the, the camera angle, the, the elbow uh, doesn't look uh, nice. You can use a small function here called the uh, elbow lock. The elbow lock you just uh, uh, snap the, the elbow uh, to the pole vector controller here. Okay, to, to make it uh, very easy for you to create the silhouette for the character. If you have to, and uh, there is a small trick here called uh, clavicle influence. This clavicle influence uh, will uh, push the values from here to the shoulder. From the clavicle to the, so the shoulder, and if you close it, you will see the clavicle will will move uh, separately from the the shoulder. Okay. And the selector here is uh, very self-explanatory. Also, you can. Select all the FK controls for the spline. Okay. And uh, there is another control here for the bag itself. Okay. Uh, it will try to maintain uh, its correct position as much as it can. But if you make any extreme position, you will have to correct the, the, these controls to, to make the, the bag fit into this pose. And there is uh, some controls here for his long dress. Um, also, the controls will try to, to match the, the correct position as much as it can. But uh, if you make any kind of extreme poses or something like this, you have to correct the, the pose of the, the dress by, by these controls.
The ball vectors here has a uh, follow attribute. Uh, you can make it follow anything or like uh, uncle help, uh, uncle and help. It will uh, try to average the value between them. And uh, there is a 1FK control for the neck and for ears or hair, his hair. Okay. And uh, this rig is uh, fully scalable. You can scale the, the, uh, the whole rig or you can just scale the head. Okay. And everything will just work as expected. Okay. All the macro controls uh, are listed here. Okay. And there is uh, other some controls like the hat control. Maybe I will uh, make it make that control uh, a bit bigger. But anyway, you can always go here and select any kind of controls you want. The the tongue is you can select the tongue control from here. Okay, the tongue is FK, and the upper teeth and lower teeth. You can select them and move them to make the bows look realistic. And at any time you can reset all this stuff. Now, thank you for watching and I uh, hope you like uh, our rig. Create a lot of 3D animation with it. Thank you very much.